So for market making, how do you select our coins? Now we're not gonna wanna market make anything, right? There are specific coins that are gonna be best for market making. So the coins we wanna look at are going to be coins that have big spreads. So the difference between the bid and ask is big. Why? Because we're buying at the bid, we're selling at the ask, we want this to be as big as possible for us to make the most amount of profit. Uh, so it's not only for that, it's because imagine you have this big of a spread and you're buying on the bid, you're selling at the ask. Now the price drops and now it's going to stay there. Now you want to try and sell at the ask. Imagine you bought at the bid and it dropped and you didn't have time to flat trade it. And now you want to sell it at the ask. Well, the ask is going to be the same price that the bid was. So you can still have the option of flat trading it. When you're trading things that are have a very tight spread, they'll move a lot. So even if you're selling at the ask, it's going to be at a loss. So there's a lot of big reasons why you want to trade things that have big spread. And you'll realize that as you uh, test it out. Want cheap coins. Why? Because cheap coins are going to have the largest spread and they're going to move the least. Even when we're doing market making in stocks, you know, we're looking at very cheap stocks because uh, stocks can only have a spread of one cent. So if you're trading a, a a stock that's you know a very at three dollars or at one dollar, a one cent move is one percent. So uh, you know the 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 minimum amount is going to be a big percentage. Now in cryptocurrencies, the cheapest that a coin can be on Bitcoin or on any uh, any currency uh, is a satoshi. It's basically eight decimal places. So the eight decimal, we cannot go nine to decimal place. So if you're trading something versus Bitcoin and it's trading at, you know, uh, 10 Satoshis, the bid and the ask is 11 Satoshis. Well, one Satoshi is going to represent a 10% move. So it cannot trade, you know, 10 and a half Satoshis. It has to be, it's Satoshi is the minimum. So if you have very cheap coins, a the smallest increment is going to be a large percentage. And we'll see that right now. We want a lot of volume because we want to be able to get in and get out a big quantity of coins, right? Because they're so cheap that you can buy a lot. Like with 100 bucks, you'll be able to buy a bunch. Uh, and we want things that are ranging. We don't want it too volatile. And that makes sense because uh, we want to buy and sell, buy and sell. We don't want it to move a lot because if it's moving, we're going to be taking losses, okay? So this is how we do our screening for this strategy. This is what we want. So how do we do this? Let's go on uh, CoinMarketCap. Let's go on exchanges uh, and check for Binance, okay? Now, I have all these coins. Let me select the pair that, that are on Bitcoin and I'll tell you why in a second. And then let's order them by price, okay? I want cheapest coins first. Now, let's take a look at the cheapest one. It's called WinBTC. I'll go on Binance here. And we'll check when BTC. Uh, so Binance Exchange Advanced. Advanced. So let's check when BTC. So we'll go BTC when. Look at this. So you see here that it's trading in a very tight range. So in, this is a daily chart. So in the past, you know, I don't know, one week, a week and a half. We've only been between this price, which you look at the order book, there is three levels. There's three Satoshis, which you see there's seven zeros here, and then a three, that's three Satoshis, two Satoshis, one Satoshis. There's no other, it can't fall more than this. These are the last three digits. And then you have sellers selling at four Satoshis, five, six, seven, all the way up. Now, if you're able to place an order here, right? If I place an order here, and I'm not logged in right now, but later on I'll log in and I'll place orders. If you place an order here and you're able to buy and you sell it here, well, how much money are you making? You're making 33%, right? Because four divided by three minus one times 100, that's 33% return on a trade. Now, how hard is it going to be for you to get filled here? Well, it will be a bit hard. And I'm going to talk about that uh, uh, later on. Well, actually, no, let's talk about it now. Why will it be hard for you to, uh, to, to get filled? Well, look at this. How many people are buying here? You have an amount of 3.7 billion. So not millions. 
you have 3 billion coins on the bid. But it's a very cheap coin. So if you do that times the price, it's but it's still worth 111 Bitcoins. So there's a, about 111 Bitcoins on the bid. Okay. So if you go here and you place an order to buy, let's say for, for one Bitcoin, you're going to be behind all of these. So when people are selling for them, you're only getting filled after they all get filled. Okay. And probably there's going to be people behind you by then, but it's going to take a while. We can look here on the time of sales and see right now it's like 2 19 PM at 2 12, we had somebody who sold 20 million coins, then 5 million. So, and here, 2 million, 1 million, smaller amounts. So in the last two hours, three hours, 27, 27 million. Uh, yeah, we had maybe, I don't know, 50, maybe 100 million. So it'll take a while. If in the last several hours, we've had, you know, 100 million, then, you know, how much is it going to take to for us to get filled if there's 3.7 billion people in front of us? And we just, in the past few hours, there was just 0.1 uh, billion that was executed. Well, it'll take maybe more than a day, okay? But still, this is, you know, if, if you're patient and you can place your order and just wait, you will get filled, right? It, it, this one probably might take longer, okay? So I don't know if this one is going to be the best one, uh, but you can test it out, okay? We're, but how do we keep looking for uh, better ones, right? So we go back here, we look at another one. Let's take a look at Dent. Like, I'm not saying that this one is not good. We, we should test this one out. Uh, we'll have to see how often we get filled. But honestly, just looking at it and seeing that there was 20 million, 27 million, 27 million, uh, you know, about 100 million getting executed, you know? 3.7 actually isn't going to take that long. It'll take a day or two, but for the amount of profit that you can make, it, it seems interesting. Uh, so, give me just a second here. Sorry about that. Uh, if we we'll take a look at the other one. So we had Dent here. Well, Dent is a little bit better here. Dent is actually one that my traders uh, have traded, okay? Uh, but when they were trading it, it was way a little bit more expensive, right? So now it got way cheaper. Uh, so when so, it's so cheap that it also probably takes a while for you to get filled. Now, for going from four Satoshis to five Satoshis, you're making a 25% return on a trade. Huge. How much, uh, what is the liquidity on there? Well, there's about, uh, there's about 1.5 billion coins on the bid. How much is it trading? Two million, two million, seven, seven, two, two. You know, a few millions he here and there. So probably if you place an order here, it, it probably would take as much time as the other one, I would say, you know, uh, a day or even two. But again, look at that. In the past two or three weeks, it has only stayed between that range. So you could have got multiple trades in and out probably. And each of those, you would have made that money. So, you know, you those are pretty good. Uh, that's a pretty good coin. That doesn't exist in stocks. There's nothing like this where you can buy and sell at the other side and make this amount of money. Now, you might want to trade something that's more active because these ones are not as active. So then you want to go things that are a little bit less cheap. Okay. So where are we now? This is Dent. Uh... You might, let's say Key, for example. Key, I know that some of my traders have traded. Uh, key. So you can put Key here. Is a little bit more expensive. But this one moves way more often. So you're going to get filled multiple times uh, way quicker. Okay. So here, the bid is 14 Satoshis. The ask is 15. So going from 14 to 15 right? Minus one times a hundred is 7% return. So way less, but you'll be able to execute trades more often. So for example, here on the bid, there is 24,000 uh, coins. And on the ask, there is uh, 4 uh, million. So sorry, 24 million and 4 million. Yeah. Now, 
24 million coins uh, of key are worth 3.4 Bitcoin, so not that much. And look at how much it's trading. So we have here 800,000, 400, 900, 500, 600, and all of these are within the last hour. So, you know, 2 million here, and there's 24 million. So several hours, and I believe you get a trade on this. Uh, and again, in and out is 7%. You know, making 7% on, on a trade is not something small. And you're in and out and you can repeat that. Now, if you have any type of automation, you can see why this is interesting because it can be done automatically. Now, so this is the coin selection. This is the process of selecting coins. You go over the coins, you look at the order book, okay? You look how much people there are, you look at how much it's trading. So how much time would it take for you to get filled approximately? And then you look at the chart so you want to see that it's not too volatile but for example this one is not bad because it breaks levels sometimes it doesn't just stay within one level so it breaks the level so you know that everybody gets filled multiple times and you know it stays within the range it's not you know this part here where it's dropping then you might not want to trade it when it's uh you know going in a direction like this but when it's ranging like this then it's uh pretty solid and you could look at i don't know an hour chart if you look at an hour chart, you see that you know it's trading, it's trading within this range. So you're buying, selling, buying, selling, buying, selling, buying. Now it drops whatever you bought here, you can sell it back at the ask. It went back up, so you flat trade it, and then you're buying, selling. So this is a pretty solid coin for uh, uh, for for market making. There's a bunch of other. So what I would recommend is if you are going to implement the strategy, you go over them and you see which ones you want to trade. Now you want to trade them on Bitcoin for a reason. Because if you trade the same coin, let's say key, for example, or no, let's actually go back on dent. We said that dent here, if you buy on the bid and sell on the ask, and you see here on an hourly chart, it's just within this range. It hasn't went out, right? It just, it's buying, sell. it's all within the same range. Here, we said that if you're buying at the bid, selling at the ask, you're making 25% return because that's the minimum increment. But if I look on dent to USDT, uh, Dent. Okay, I guess they don't have it on USDT. So let's take a look at something else like Win. Do they have Win? Yeah. Okay. So let's take a look at Win first on Bitcoin. Win Bitcoin. We said that the difference between the bid and ask is thirty three percent. Now, if I look at Win USDT, the difference is going to be. Well, the ask is at three two two three, and the bid is at. 3 to 2, uh, 2. So there's one Satoshi difference, but the price is way bigger. So one Satoshi difference on that, minus 1 times 100, is only 0.03%. So you see that since you are trading the same coin, okay, but you are trading it on dollars, since a dollar is worth way less than a Bitcoin, right? When you're looking at win versus a dollar, uh, it's a bigger price. But when you're looking at win versus Bitcoin, which is more expensive, it's a smaller price, right? Because you have the same nominator, but the denominator is bigger. So the same thing divided by a bigger number is going to give you something smaller. So this is why you want to trade it versus Bitcoin, because it's going to give you a smaller number and the smallest increment, a Satoshi, is going to be way bigger, right? So you don't want to trade something like this versus US dollars, because a smallest increment here is not as big as a smaller smallest increment when you're trading something versus Bitcoin because Bitcoin, when you divide by Bitcoin, instead of dividing by a dollar, it's a smaller number. So you want to trade something that's that's like that. So we're always going to be looking at versus Bitcoin, not Ethereum, not whatever. Uh, we're looking at the pairs versus Bitcoin to get something that has such a high spread. Okay. Uh, so this is how you're going to look for coins. And in the next lecture, we're, we're going to talk about how to trade that specific strategy.